So in the previous video, we installed React Native vector icons uh, to allow us to navigate back from our sign up screen to our sign in screen. So in this next video, we're gonna just add Firebase to our project, uh, which we're gonna use for our authentication and other features later on. So to do this, uh, we're gonna go ahead and head over to this uh, Firebase package here on NPM and then just install it. So this is the official Firebase uh, package on NPM by Google and probably other contributors as well. So go ahead and install the package. And while that's installing, uh, head over back to VS Code. In the main directory, we're going to add a new folder, call it Firebase. And inside the folder, I'll just create a new file. Firebase.js and once Firebase is done installing we're gonna import everything as Firebase from Firebase. Now uh, this is the Firebase package which we just installed now and then next thing we want to create a variable here uh, call it Firebase config which will contain our configura Firebase configuration so to get this Firebase configuration, uh, I've gone ahead and set up a test Firebase project. And if you just go into your settings, or your app rather, so I've set up a web application. I'll just go into settings and then copy your configuration there. Then we'll paste that in there. And then we're gonna have to initialize our application. So to initialize it, we can just copy this command that's here. I think it's pretty much this this one here. Yeah. So we can just copy that as well. Then paste it there. And just change the variable. Okay, it's the same variable. So uh, you might face an error here where the app will always be initializing every time you run it. So to get around that, we're gonna add an if statement to check if the application has been initialized already. So we're gonna check if firebase.apps.length. So this will check if uh, there are any apps that have been initialized. In this case, if this app has been initialized already. Or if not, then we go ahead and initialize the application. And then once that's done, we'll export Firebase. So we'll import this Firebase and use any Firebase features that we need. So for example, in the sign up page, we wanna need to sign up users. So we wanna use the Firebase authentication for that. And just to check if everything is working, we wanna just head back to sign up. So I'm just gonna run a console log. Uh, when the user navigates back, we're just gonna run a console log. Firstly, let's import uh, Firebase. From. Okay. So we're just gonna console log Firebase. And this shouldn't really give us anything useful. It's just gonna display all the Firebase functions and everything else we have. So uh, let's try that out. So I'm in the sign up page here. So when I click back, it should just display a console log of everything. So as you can see, when I click that, there's all this uh, Firebase functions and everything that's being uh, displayed here. So in the next uh, video, what we're gonna do is gonna go through states and how we can actually sign up users and sign in users on.